Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to graph pretty much any sine function. So I've picked one um, that is not uh, super easy, so let's try to uh, see if we can graph it. So the first step you do uh, when solving, uh, when graphing one of these functions is you take whatever is here, okay, and you set it between uh, 0 and 2 pi. So step 1, take whatever is here, I underlined it in yellow, and set it between 0 and 2 pi. So let's do that. So here we have 2 pi, and then here we have 0. Okay. Then you want to solve for x. So if we divide everything by 2, so divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, you end up with 0 less than or equal to x plus pi over 4, less than or equal to pi. And the last step is to subtract pi over 4 from all of the sides. So minus pi over 4, minus pi over 4, minus pi over 4. You can think of pi as 4 pi over 4. So what happens is you end up getting negative pi over 4, less than or equal to x, right, because these cancel. And then 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 is 3 pi over 4. So step 1. Uh, has been done. So again, whenever, whenever you want to graph any sine function, the first step is just take this and just always set it between 0 and 2 pi and then solve for x. All right, the next step is to compute what I like to call delta x. Okay, so, uh, so step 2 is to compute delta x and it's always going to be upper minus lower divided by 4. So I'll explain what that is in a second. So upper minus lower and then you want to divide all of that by 4. So this is your upper and this is your lower. So um, you can think of it as right minus left if you want. So this is 3 pi over 4 minus negative pi over 4, right, upper minus lower, and then all of that is divided by 4, right? So always works. It's always the, the biggest minus the smallest. Um, let's see what happens here. This is uh, minus and minus is plus. Oh, I see. So this is 4 pi over 4 over 4. So this is just pi over 4. So our delta x is equal to pi over 4. That's our delta x. All right. So let me just scroll down. And I'll, I'm going to rewrite the function because uh, we lost track of it in this mess. So, so f of x is our original function. And it's 1 half plus, and let me scroll up because I lost it, 2 plus sine 2 x plus 4. Okay, so 2, then sine, and then 2, and then x plus pi over 4. Okay, that's it there. Beautiful stuff. So again, step 1, let's recap what we've done. We took this piece here, okay, and we set it between 0 and 2 pi. We solved for x, and we got here. And then step 2, do upper minus lower. So it's just this one minus this one divided by 4, okay? Step three, we're going to draw a little picture, right? So, um, so in our little picture, uh, we're going to use our interval. So our interval started at negative pi over 4, and it goes to 3 pi over 4. So I'm going to graph that down here. So we have negative pi over 4, okay? And then here we have 3 pi over 4, right? We got these from what we did just a few seconds ago, right, when we solved for x. And now you just keep adding delta x. So when you add delta x, pi over 4, to negative pi over 4, you get 0, okay? If you do it again, you get pi over 4. Do it one more time, you get 2 pi over 4, okay? And 2 pi over 4 is the same thing as pi over 2. Do it again, you get 3 pi over 4. So add pi over 4, add pi over 4, add pi. So just keep adding pi over 4, add. Uh, this, pi over 4, and you get these numbers here. These are the numbers that we are going to plug in to our function and plot, and then we're done, okay? And you might say, well, why can't you just pick any numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and plug them in? You can, uh, but we're doing this without a calculator, right? We're doing this from scratch, like the pros do it. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us really nice, easy angles to evaluate. So uh, I'm going to scroll down, and again, I'm going to write down our function one more time because I keep losing it. <laughs> so f of x, and we said it was 1 half plus 2 sine. I think I have it memorized now, 2 x plus pi over 4. And then that's it there. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's plug in all the numbers, so just one at a time. I'm going to write a little bit smaller now. Um, so let's see. So let's look at f of negative pi over 4. Okay, you've got to be very careful here. This is where it's easy to mess up. 
this is one half plus two sine and our x is negative pi over four so when you add it to pi over four it's going to be zero so it's going to be sine of zero okay because it's negative pi over four plus pi over four sine of zero is zero so this is just one half so our first ordered pair uh, is going to be negative pi over four comma one half that that's our first ordered pair i'm going to put this in a box this is called an accomplishment let's do f of zero so f of zero Okay, plugging in zero, we're going to get one half plus two sine, and let's see, zero plus pi over four is pi over four, times two is pi over two. Skipping steps here to save room, right? So putting a zero for the x, it's going to be pi over four, right? Because zero plus pi over four is pi over four, times two is pi over two. We get the sine of pi over two. Sine of pi over two is one, so this is one half plus two. That's really four halves plus one half, which is five halves, lots of math. So the ordered pair here is zero comma five halves, right? Zero comma five halves, put that in a box. Let's look at f of pi over four. So f of pi over four is one half plus two sine. And we're plugging in pi over four, so we get pi over four plus pi over four, it's pi over two, right? Because it's two pi over four, which is pi over two, times two is pi, so we get sine of pi. Sine of pi is zero, right? It's the y coordinate at pi, which is zero. So this is going to be one half, right? So the ordered pair here is pi over four, comma, one half, right? Almost there, almost there, two more points. This is the grunt work, right? And uh, it, just, it just takes practice. Notice all the angles are easy. Zero, pi over two, pi. It's all the easy ones. You're never gonna get like a pi over six here or a pi over three with this method. It's always the easy angles. That's why I think this is the best method in the world for graphing sine and cosine. Let's do f of pi over two. So f of pi over two, it's one half plus two sine, and then we have two. And we're plugging in pi over two. Uh-oh, it's a little bit harder. Pi over two plus pi over four. Pi over two is two pi over four. Two pi over four plus pi over four is three pi over four times two. It's, I'm gonna write it, three pi over four. It's too much math to even speak. This is gonna be three pi over two. The sine of three pi over two is negative one. So this is one half minus two. So this is negative three halves, right? Cause it's one half minus four halves, which is negative three halves. So this is pi over two and then negative three halves. I'm, I'm skipping a lot of steps in the computations and I'm just saying them in words just to save room. Right? I wanna have all these points because we're almost done. The last one is f of three pi over four. So f of three pi over four, it's gonna be one half plus two sine. Then we have two, okay, so let's see. Three pi over four plus five pi over four is four pi over four, which is pi. So we get sine of two pi, sine of two pi is zero. So we just get one half. So here are ordered pair is three pi over four uh, comma one half. So there are our numbers, right? So let's go ahead and put everything together, right? Let's graph everything. So I think I'll have to, I'll squeeze it in over here. Let's be really careful. So here is our y-axis, okay, beautiful stuff. Here is our x-axis, so there's our x, and there's our y up here, so y. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be good. So negative pi over four will be here, okay? And then this will be zero. And then this will be pi over four. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. And then this will be uh, pi over two. And this will be um, three pi over four. These are the numbers that we got uh, at the beginning of the problem, right? When we subdivided our interval and this is zero. So it looks like the smallest y value is gonna be negative three halves. I'm gonna use one half increments. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay, so negative three halves is going to be, okay, so this is negative one half, negative one, negative three halves. Why not? And this is one, one half, three halves. Okay, the first one is negative pi over four, one half. That's here. Okay, there goes my, my symbol. So, um, so let me use a different color here. So this one is negative pi over four, one half. That's this red dot here. And the next one is zero, five halves. So that's actually pretty high up. So it's one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, that's here. The next one is pi over four, one half, that's down here. Uh, the next one is pi over two, negative three halves, that's down here. And the next one is three pi over four, one half, that's up here. All we do now is we connect the dots and we make some type of curve like that. 
And that's pretty good. That completes it. So um, I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there who's learning to graph sine and cosine. Remember, step one, just take whatever is here, right? Just take whatever is here and you set it between 0 and 2 pi, okay? Always, always, every single time. Then you solve for x and you get this mess here. Then you compute delta x. And then you just keep adding it, right? Boom. And then you just plug in those numbers and then you just plot the points and then you got it. You've got the graph, right? So that's it.